Well, good morning. This is Plant Smart Living with Farmer Fred. Really glad you could join me today out here in the vegetable garden. You know, it's a beautiful day here in Pennsylvania. It's the end of August and, you know, it's a, even a cool morning today. And so, well, you know, today I thought we would go harvest some of my Hungarian hot wax peppers. So thanks for joining me today. So these Hungarian hot wax peppers are really great for, you know, for salads. Uh, my wife and I, we also use them in our chilies and, you know, I make uh, beans, a big pot of beans once a week in my Instapot. And so I, I dice them up and put them in there and you can also freeze them, you know, uh, dice them up and freeze, put them in freezer bags and put them in your refrigerator or freezer over the winter. And that's a great way to also store some of your your peppers. So anyhow, follow me along and let's go harvest some of these beautiful pepper peppers. So these pepper plants are located in my raised bed in my garden back there. So these raised bed sections are four foot by 32 foot sections divided in four sections. And so right here is where I have my Hungarian hot wax pepper plants and it's, they've just been producing some beautiful hot peppers. And so let me grab my basket and let's start harvesting some of these beautiful peppers. So I have my wife's Longaburger basket and Let's just start harvesting some of these. Sometimes they can be a little tricky to get off the plant. But these are a beautiful pepper. Take a look and see how nice they are. And they have a little bit of heat to them. And when they're on the plant for a while too, they, they can also turn red, so they're, it's a beautiful pepper. Nice, nice fleshly skin on these, nice and firm. Right, it's a nice beautiful day here, they've got a nice sunshine here out in the garden. I don't hear a lot of birds this time of year. In fact, right now it's kind of early. I don't even hear the locusts outside. So it's kind of quiet out here in the garden. But it's always a nice time to be out in the garden. You know, it's always peaceful and relaxing. And I always say it's very therapeutic, you know. But you can see some of the younger ones. These aren't quite ready to pick yet, but They do have a little bit of heat to them, especially if you start to eat the seeds. And so let me just go through here a little bit more and see if I can find some of these larger peppers. I do need to make a, a pot of beans this week with my Instant Pot and uh, so these are going to be good to put in there. Put put some of these in some of my King Arthur green bell peppers. But you know the Instant Pot is good because I don't even pre-soak my beans. I just put them at pressure for about 60 minutes and then I just let them go on low for a couple hours. You know, no no hurry. Just let them sit in there and slow cook. And uh, so these peppers are great for something like that. Or even, you know, if you have to make your beans in a crock pot, they're just a, a really nice, nice pepper. They they add a little bit of heat to your 
to the uh, to your food. These also kind of remind me of, you know, the uh, banana peppers, but they're not as uh, banana peppers aren't as hot as as these uh, Hungarian hot wax peppers. There's Bailey. I was looking for him. How are you there this morning, huh? So anyhow, I think we have a nice basket of of these Hungarian hot wax peppers. I think they're gonna really be nice and tasty. So anyhow, I just want to thank you for joining me today out here in the vegetable garden. And if you have any questions or comments about this video, feel free to leave them in the section below. And also you can visit us at plantsmartliving.com. So anyhow, I hope you have a wonderful day today. Thanks for joining me out here today harvesting these Hungarian hot wax peppers. So until next time, this is Plant Smart Living with Farmer Fred.